Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you all of the fragrances I've warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So, it's been a pretty exciting weekend, hasn't it? I've been seeing a lot of uh, little drops and, you know, kind of spoilers for the next season. And I'm excited about a few things. Um, but we'll get to talking about that towards the end of the video. So let me go over what I've already warmed. I've got some wax melts. I've got a couple candles. And I've also got a couple non-wax items to share with you today. So let's get started with that first. So what I did finish that's non-wax is a Scentsy um, laundry system, I guess you would call it. Um, we finished our fluffy fleece laundry liquid. And we finished our large fluffy fleece uh, washer whiffs. This is a really nice, like, clean, cozy laundry fragrance. We really enjoy it. Now that we have finished this up, though, we are going to be moving to the Fiji Flower fragrance um, and try that one out. So I'm really, really enjoying the laundry system. We only do laundry liquid and... Um, washer whiffs and we also have the dryer discs uh, but the dryer discs we use sparingly we only use one at a time we don't use two like um, the directions say so we go through those a lot slower uh, but we're really happy with these and so I do have some backup of that still for like the winter season so yeah, we're just going to be switching over to Fiji Flower for a little bit, and I'm really excited about that. So let's get into the wax. First up today, in the open concept area, we are doing Soft Plumeria from the Epcot Collection. This <sighs> smells like home to me. Smells like home. Unfortunately, this is not a boomer fragrance. This is not strong for me at all. We've got one full bar going split between two warmers out here in the open concept area. I can smell it, it is light. I did break down and put in a third warmer right here on my computer desk. So this is the desk that I work at every day um, for my occupation as well as filming and things like that. And so I have the Father's Day Element Warmer um, right behind my computer setup over here at the back corner of this desk. I put in two cubes of soft plumeria in there as well and it's helping a little bit but I think my problem is that fragrance is just not traveling to this corner of the house. So typically during a work day I have a fan that kind of blows in this direction um, that's blowing the air cooler air towards my work area and then I also have a fan that's kind of above and behind blowing air into the wall that's right behind my computer um, to try to like circulate some of the cooler air and right now I don't have that second fan on just to kind of tamper down some of the ambient sound that my microphone might pick up, especially because the fan that I usually use above um, and behind is much louder. <laughs> and so it's fine when I'm just like working, um, but when I'm filming, not so much. So I've only got the one uh, fan blowing the cooler air this way. Like I said, it is helping, but with all of the computer stuff and everything, it's kind of like blocking the airflow. So, yeah, I'm still testing it out. This is only the second time I've used that element warmer. I did use it on Thursday when I was working, and it did definitely help pump fragrance levels where I'm sitting. So... I sacrificed my desk lamp in order to use the warmer. Uh, today I obviously have all of my filming lamps and whatever. So yeah, I decided not to use my desk lamp and in lieu of a warmer just to again try to conserve some energy. Um, and I have a backlit keyboard so I don't actually need uh, to have the light. So yeah, 
Um, I really love this fragrance. It does have a little bit of like teak wood in it, but I don't smell it. I only smell the plumeria, and like I said, it reminds me of home. And so I really enjoy it. So I'm definitely going to be playing around with the extra warmer this week to see if it actually helps or not. Um, and maybe move it around a couple times and see if placement will work better. But yeah, I do love this fragrance. It is not as strong as I would like it to be, but it is reminiscent of home for me. Yesterday in the open concept area, we did one full bar of Mango Wildflower. This was from the Sensorations uh, collection in the springtime. This was one that I liked, but not enough to club. And so we just decided to go through our last bar. This is like the Go Go Mango fragrance. I can definitely smell Go Go Mango with a uh, extra floral punch. This was good. It was strong. It was strong enough that the whole bar was enough. I didn't feel like I needed anymore. I did pull out the Go Go Mango bar just in case I needed like extra fragrance, but I didn't. This was sufficiently strong out here in the open concept area. I would say it was about a strong medium with eight cubes out here in the open concept area really really nice like i said i did not club that uh, but i enjoyed that one a lot also out here in the open concept area we did paradise petals so we did a bar and a half and that was sufficient enough we only did this in the two warmers again about a uh, medium i would say not as strong as I would like, but I do love this fragrance. It reminds me of a body spray I had when I was in high school. It kind of smells like paper whites. The, the body spray was called paper whites. But this is white florals. And yeah, it's very nostalgic smell to me. Really enjoyed that. In the master bath, we finished off this clam of palm trees and ocean breeze. This, to me... Smells like cleaner. I do not care for it. So we had two cubes left, put it in the master bath. It went for almost three days. I'll be changing it out tonight. I'm glad to be done with this one, but I do not, do not enjoy that one. I think that one is in the current catalog, but I will not be repurchasing any more of that. A couple times this week in the smaller bathroom, we did cubes of iridescent pearl in the uh, mini warmer there. This is one of my daughter's favorites. Definitely apple blossom, aquatic. Yeah, really, really pretty. It is a light bar though. So it only went for like a day in the smaller bathroom. So that's why we did it a couple times this week, but we really enjoy this one. And that one is in my quarterly club. I finished off this clam of soak and raise. Also in the smaller bathroom, we only had one cube left. This I get nice orange blossom and beachy like a beachy floral type fragrance definitely heavy on that orange blossom i absolutely love this one this will be going into one of my clubs definitely and that's a new fragrance for the spring summer catalog this year i did a mix in the master bath and so i did a couple cubes of magnolia linen which is in the current catalog this is a beautiful floral laundry fragrance it's a nice strong performer too and so i did two cubes of that with this sample of ivory soap uh, from destination wax it just says fresh ivory soap this was a little like bunt uh, shape and that's exactly what this smells like ivory soap i love the smell of ivory soap it's a soap that we still buy for our house to this day and so yeah I mix these two, so full bunt, two cubes of magnolia linen, and this was really, really nice. I think if I did this again, I would definitely do less magnolia linen because it was super magnolia linen heavy with just the slightest hint of ivory soap, um, but it was really nice, and I really enjoyed that one. Again, it lasted like two and a half days. Um, the ivory soap didn't last as long. This one kind of petered out a day and a half. But I could definitely smell the magnolia linen for two and a half days. It was really, really nice. 
In the smaller bathroom, I did inhale, exhale from the Pink Zebra. So this is their old packaging. This is take in deep breaths of crisp air, eucalyptus, and cooling mint touched with sage and jasmine. I really enjoy this one. It's just so fresh. It's kind of comforting for me. It's eucalyptus and mint, which is a fragrance combo that I especially enjoy. I do have a carton of this. This did go away with their spring summer catalog though. So Pink Zebra did roll out their fall winter catalog today, the day that I'm filming this. So this is no longer on the website, but like I said, I do have a carton and I have about a third of a container left. We really enjoy this one and I would definitely purchase that one again if I saw it next season. In my bedroom, in the Nova Warmer, I am doing Goose Creek's Cool Raindrops. This is just a fresh aquatic scent. Yes. Very, very much like the Chili Rain Showers, I think that's what they call it. It's another fragrance that I really, really enjoy from Goose Creek, but I like these types of like rain, aquatic, cool type fragrances. And so, yes, in the Nova Warmer, just one of these little pie cubes. It's doing great. Really, really enjoyed that one. Would definitely purchase that again. In the open concept area, we did a scoopable. So this is from L3 Waxy Wonders, Creamsicle, Dole Whip, and Fizzy Pop. This is a super strong performer. We did about a tablespoon and a half in each warmer. So actually, we started out with about a tablespoon in each warmer. It wasn't enough to hold up to the fans. So I went and added about a half a tablespoon more. Like I said, this is a strong performer. I haven't ever had issues smelling this until we've had all the fans and stuff on. So I didn't want to put any more of the scoopable in the warmer. So because I still wasn't getting a good scent throw, like I could smell it, but it was very light. What I did was go ahead and add some other stuff to it. So I added some pineapple pucker from Scentsy. This is in my quarterly club. It is not in the current catalog. This is just fresh pineapple. Yes, definitely takes me back to a certain time in my life. <laughs> um, so I added a cube of this to each warmer. And then I added a square of Satsuma. This is from Harper James. Um, and this is just that really nice citrusy fragrance really good and so I added a little bit of that and with the extra pump of these two fragrances I could definitely smell this better and so this is really good I would buy this again because like I said I haven't had problems with this and it's Centro until all the fans and everything had gone on and so it's just the environmental that's causing issues with this this is really really good and this really good I don't think you can mess up Satsuma I've tried it from three different vendors and all three are good um, Satsuma is just one of those citrusy fragrances that we really enjoy and pineapple pucker which you can't get but there are other places that do similar to this um, which I actually have one of those in this basket, which I'll talk to you about, uh, I guess, right now. So, in the open concept area, we also tried another mix, this time from Sassy Girl Aroma. So, we did uh, pineapple candy. This says sweet and tart pineapple candy. And to me, this smells like pineapple pucker. So, if you missed out on pineapple pucker and are wondering what pineapple pucker smells like, I would definitely give Sassy Girl Aromas pineapple candy a go because it smells almost exactly the same to me. So we did um, two cubes of pineapple candy in each warmer. And then we also did two cubes of Ramune Soda, which is a soft lemon lime soda that originates from Japan. 
to me, this does not smell like Ramune soda. I've had Ramune soda many times in my life, and this does not smell like Ramune soda to me. But it is a very, very good fizzy pop type fragrance. It's different from, say, L3's fizzy pop. This one is a little bit more maybe lemony and like sweet, I would say. But yes, still a really, really good fragrance. I quite enjoy this one. And so four cubes total in each warmer, two of each. And this was really good. I definitely will be doing something like this again. Um, definitely enjoy those pineapple fizzy pop type combos. And so, yes, this was good. Um, it was about a light medium, though, as far as performance goes, but that's okay. That was the day that I decided to try the third warmer for the first time, and that really helped it. It brought it up to, like, a low medium. Um, and I only used one extra cube of each fragrance in that extra third warmer. And that was enough. It gave me the scent throw to like lift my spirits during the day, during a work day. And that's pretty much what I use fragrance for. I use it to help elevate my, my mood, to help get me through the day. And just having that smell just really helps me out. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. Um, in the smaller bathroom currently, we are also doing another Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Watch the Storm. This is a cleansing ocean air before the storm, and that's exactly what this smells like. It smells like when it's getting ready to storm. There's a certain scent in the air, and that's what this smells like to me. I absolutely love fragrances like this. Um, this Scentsy Summer Rain from the Bring Back My Bar has a similar fragrance. And yes, I repurchased this one. I absolutely love that one. And it's gone two days now. I will be changing that one out tonight, though. I only I did two of those little blocks. This one we did in the open concept area and I had a really, really hard time smelling it. But I think, again, it was a placement of where I had the warmer at the time. I didn't use my candle lamp, which I normally do use with this one, um, which kind of elevates at least one of the, the fragrances. Yeah, just with all the fans and everything, it, I definitely need to do this one again. So this is a new fragrance to me. It's Rose Girls Above the Cheap Cheap Seas. This was a customer creation fragrance. Salty Ocean Air, Coastal Kale, Satsuma, Sun and Sand Yankee Candle Type. So this is most of Speechless, <laughs> so Coastal Kale and Satsuma, with Salty Ocean Air and Yankee Candles Sun and Sand. This is really good. On cold, it is strong. I definitely get the Coastal Kale and the Satsuma with the Salty Ocean Air. I am not familiar with Yankee Candles Sun and Sand. I know I've seen it all the time. I'm pretty sure it's a beige color. But it was never one that called out to me to actually go and smell it. This is nice. It's fresh. It's citrusy. You've got that touch of salty sea air. And a little bit of like a beachiness. I really, really like this on cold. But on warm, it was super light. Super light. It was actually blowing the most in the kitchen. So when I went to the kitchen to like go get a snack or refill my drink, get some more ice, I could smell it great. So the fragrance is traveling there and down the hallway towards my bedroom, but it wasn't making it this way. And I don't know where the fragrance from the warmer that's on the entertainment center was going because it definitely wasn't coming in this area. <laughs> so I definitely need to do this one again especially now that I'm like playing around with this third warmer and see if I can get this one to perform a little better but this one I really really enjoy I've never really had problems with rose girls in my home again it's all of this trying to figure out best placement with all the fans how many fans where I should put the fans this new air cooler that I've got 
it's just been crazy. <laughs> we did this one in the open concept. This is Brainwash from Sassy Girl Aroma. This has a lot of scent notes. Rose, sweet floral, refreshing citrus, jasmine, exotic alang alang, fresh island gardenia blooms, sweetened with lavender, Egyptian musk, and warm, rich French vanilla. So this one, to me, is definitely a floral. It's more of a I, what I would call a sultry floral. Now I'm much more of a like brighter white florals with the exception of the roses, though white roses are my favorite. This. I wouldn't say I could pick up any of those individual fragrance notes when I'm smelling this. It's just like a really nicely blended, sultry floral, not very strong at all. And I definitely get like that vanilla. This was okay. It was more of an atmospheric type of fragrance, which... For me, this like combination of fragrances definitely lends more towards an atmospheric type of fragrance. I could smell it. I would say it was about a light medium. Um, we used two rows, so one row in each warmer, four of the little squares, and it was okay. I don't particularly think that I will be repurchasing this one because I do like my florals a lot stronger and like I said this is more of a sultry floral what I would consider a sultry floral I'm going to try this in some smaller areas to see um, what I think of it then because this is the first time that I had warmed this one and so yeah I definitely need to try it again but what I got was pleasant I don't think I'd purchase it again though but it was pleasant in the smaller bathroom, we did another Goose Creek. This is White Pine Lake. So this kind of smells like Sensi's Black Forest Pine, which is not my favorite. It was okay. It lasted about a day. It was just a nice bathroom fragrance. I'm definitely going to use the last two cubes in the bathroom again. And I'll be done with that one because I do not care for that type of tree. It's too... Um, sharp for me. It's too sharp. It's almost got a little bit of a peppery or licorice note to it. And so I don't care for that at all. I did this combo in my Nova Warmer. And I did this combo because I heard about it from Charity Rose. She was talking about a blend that she had. And it had these two fragrances in it. And I said, well, I've got these two fragrances separately so let me try to blend them myself so it's rose girls is zen and rose girls is a raspberry sauce so the blend that charity rose had was called raspberry zen and zen is just like a spa fresh type fragrance there are no scent notes on the bag definitely spa fresh and a little bit citrusy it almost reminds me of Mediterranean Spa from the Bring Back My Bar Scentsy uh, earlier this year, but not quite. It's not my favorite of Rose Girls' like fresh, clean, spa-type fragrances. If I were to go for a fresh, spa-type fragrance, I would probably go Speechless or uh, Makeup Sex as my preferred, like, fresh spa type fragrance um but this is good i will enjoy what i have i'm not sure if i purchase any more of the zen on its own but i'll definitely be trying to blend it with some stuff and the raspberry sauce is good we really enjoyed the raspberry sauce it definitely smells like berries to me which is a plus because a lot of times berry can be hit or miss with me with me smelling plastic very most often but this one I definitely smell raspberry this one is a good one I would repurchase this one again and when I had mixed both of these together 
I could definitely smell both of them individually and blended and it was really really nice so I'm definitely gonna try the raspberry with like a plain speechless or like I said makeup sex or any of those like more fresh spa and see what I think but this was really really good I'm glad that I tried that one I've got two more uh, pink zebras so I've got this juicy orange air care we did this one in the smaller bathroom this was really really nice definitely juicy orange this says freshens the air and neutralizes odors with notes of juicy oranges combined with sun warmed neroli and verdant lemon leaves I don't really smell any of that green just a nice juicy orange this was good it lasted for a day and then I changed it out to Peruvian lime so this is effervescent lime juice with splashes of sugar mandarin and golden citrus the color of this wax is just not appealing but the fragrance is nice it's super limey and I really really like that one I would definitely repurchase this if I saw it again I would probably repurchase this one as well if I saw it again um, I do have a pink zebra called juicy orange slices or something fresh orange slices that I enjoy as well and so yes these were very good they again only lasted a day though but I think that's because I was using it in a mini warmer and the mini warmer can only take about a scoop and a half and so yeah recommended usage for pink zebra is three scoops per full-size warmer and so anyway inhale exhale was the better performer definitely of those uh, pink zebra sprinkles and so that's all of the wax that I've got. Let me clear some space and I'll get to the candles. There's not that many and then we'll wrap it up for today. Okay, three candles. So we did Eucalyptus Snowfall from uh, Bath and Body Works, White Barn. Uh, this is fr Frozen Eucalyptus Snow Experiment Winter Lavender. I really enjoy this one. If it comes back this year, I'll definitely buy another one. It is burning dirty though. So you can kind of see there. But it hasn't affected the fragrance at all so for now it's okay we're about halfway done with this uh, we're about right here so yes really really enjoyed that one would definitely repurchase we dug out the kringle candle reserve candle in uh, turquoise this was really nice again this is like a more sultry like rose type fragrance there's a sweetness to it as well, though I don't know that there are scent notes on the bottom of this. No, there aren't. But this one was really nice. Great performer. Um, did I show you? Burning great. And then the last one we did this week was Country Candles Pineapple Rita. This is in the paraffin. This is kind of along the lines of Yankees pineapple cilantro if you're familiar with that but this is definitely more heavy on like the herb than the pineapple whereas for me Yankee Candles pineapple cilantro was more pineapple with just a touch of like green this is definitely more green than pineapple this one's not a fave <laughs> not a fave but I'll go through that eventually. And yeah, you can kind of see it burned really hot. This is how much it burned. And I burn all of my candles for about the same amount of time. Um, and yeah, the wax pool got all the way down here. And it's probably because that's how hot it is where I am. So that wasn't helping, you know, the melting point of the paraffin. And so, yes. Not a repurchase for me, that one but yeah so let's talk some uh sensi news <laughs> so end of month is coming up right end of month so the beauty and the beast collection is leaving the catalog so if you're interested in any of those products make sure you pick them up before the end of the month or club the fragrance if you want to keep it i do have the beauty and the beast um fragrance 
safely secured in my club already. I did take it out before my clubs processed this month, but I put it back in immediately. So I know they're there. And so, yes, I really enjoyed that one. Definitely gave me that, that grapefruit fragrance that I really enjoy. So, yes. Um, chamomile Petals. The scent of the month from earlier this year is also leaving the catalog at the end of the month. So if you really love that fragrance, definitely, again, put it in your club or stock up before the end of the month. And then as far as August goes, um, we usually have most of the catalog on sale in August. So it's a great time to stock up on your favorite spring summer fragrances before they leave the catalog for the fall winter season. I am still making my lists and checking my inventory and seeing if I actually need to stock up on anything else before the spring summer catalog leaves. I do have my list of fragrances that I will be putting into my club, um, but I'm just waiting for that paper catalog, well, the digital catalog to show up on the workstation so that I can have that for reference because I know there's a picture floating around uh, but I have only seen it from a few people and I don't actually have the picture myself. Um, but yeah, some interesting things uh, were leaked on the upcoming catalog. I will say that I do not have any Sensi heart Heartbreaks, uh, but for me, the fall and winter catalog is the catalog that I melt the least from because I am very like picky as far as my fall and winter fragrances and I'm not as adventurous with my melting or my mixing during the fall winter season as I am during the spring summer. So my spring summer like club list is a lot longer than my fall winter usually is. So I will be able to take out almost all of the winter bars that I had put in my club except for two from what I can understand. I can also not have to club one of the bars that I thought I would be having to club uh, because that particular bar is carrying over to the fall winter catalog which will be nice and so yeah I've watched a couple people um, talk about it Robin H Elizabeth Scenes and Scents uh, Charity Rose I I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I guess I'm more okay than not because I'm not a bakery warmer. That's not like my preferred scent category. I barely ever go into that category, if at all. During the fall and winter season is the time that I may just once or twice and it's usually not like super heavy bakery. So I, I'm not too miffed about that. Um, what I am miffed about, though, uh, is the fact that, you know, we've only got the two floral fragrances again. We've only got Luna, and we've only got Velvet Moon. And for someone like me who really enjoys her florals, I really think that Sensi needs to start being a little bit more creative um, in finding more ways to incorporate florals during the holidays. Like, you could mix, like, roses and Christmas trees, or do something like even in the holiday bricks we had last year there was a floral fragrance this year there as far as I can see um, from what I've heard there are no extra florals in any of the LTOs which is a little bit upsetting for me um, plus there's not as many like Christmas tree ish type fragrances which is what I normally gravitate towards during the fall winter season and so yeah you know I'm I'm okay with what's coming back in the catalog like I said I don't have any sensing heartbreaks and I can let go most of what I had in my club holding um, in case they didn't come back the two that I won't be able to remove from my club though pomegranate prosecco which I was surprised that one wasn't coming back glad I put it in my club but that's like an all year round fragrance for me and so I'm glad that I have that one and the other one was very blessed very blessed I found for the first time last winter and I really really enjoyed it 
And so I'm glad that I also have that one in my club. And so, yeah, you'll be seeing a club edit for me sometime soon. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of the LTOs that are coming up. I don't know everything, but from what I've seen, there's definitely a couple things that I'll be interested in getting. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to the changeover in the catalog. I'm looking forward to checking out the new fragrances. As far as the 10 new fragrances from the catalog goes, there's only one that for sure is probably a yes for me just based off scent notes. Three of them are, I might try those. They might be okay. The rest of them, hard no's, hard no's for me. Um, the scent notes are definitely ones I do not enjoy. So I'm not going to be taking the chance on that. So that being said, I will not be getting the consultant kit <laughs> for the upcoming fragrances because yeah, most of them are no's. Three of them are maybes and only one of them are like, yes, that's probably going to be something in my wheelhouse. So I'm definitely not the norm as far as what people are looking for during the fall winter season but like I said I am excited to see what's coming up with the LTOs and seeing all of the new warmers and things though I need another warmer like you know I need anything else <laughs> um, but yeah it's always like really fun to see all of the holiday decor and you know other things like that and so, yeah, I am excited for the catalog turnover. I'm not as, I guess, disappointed would be the word as most because of what's not coming back in the catalog. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I am just very picky with what I normally warm during that time of the year. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have heard any of the leaks or if you're excited about certain things also let me know if you've seen anything already that has been posted that you absolutely know that you have to have if you're interested in seeing what's coming up for the harvest collection um, that is currently on the website for preview right now you so you can go to my website which is linked down in the description box below and go to collections and go to the harvest collection and you can see all of the stuff that is scheduled for the harvest collection coming up there are definitely some interesting things there and i'll definitely be picking up at least one or two of the fragrances there and yeah so let me know how your warming has been over the last week what kinds of fragrances are you gravitating towards here at the end of july and what the favorite fragrance that you had going in your house this week was, I would really love to know. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me some kind of fruit emoji or pineapple. I don't even know what kind of fruits they have in the emojis. But any kind of fruit emoji down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated. It would really help me out, and that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.